Well, as we told you earlier, students from Parkland, Florida are here visiting students at Alderdice High School and visiting the Tree of Life Synagogue. Let's go back to Lindsay Ward, who is live in Squirrel Hill. Lindsay. Yeah, well, that special event ended just a few minutes ago behind me at this Tree of Life, and it was quite an emotional event between the Jewish Community Center as well as those with the Tree of Life and those who came all the way from Parkland, Florida. Yes, they said this was about tragedy coming together, but it was also about healing. And one of the really interesting things that we found out that there were about two dozen people underneath the canopy right in front of the Tree of Life, and they shared stories. They shared stories about the victims. They shared, sto uh, shared stories about the victims in that synagogue that happened. And they talked about how that compares to what they went through down there in Parkland, Florida, and how they are working together to heal. It was really quite amazing. Yes, tears were shed, but they also talk about how great um, that they are able to come together and share this tragedy and be able to move forward. Let's go to one man who shared his story um, in regards to his daughter that died in Parkland, Florida. Another moment in this journey of trying to heal myself and be part of healing for others. Um, been a horrible year. And I want to mention that this is just day one of a three day event. It's about healing, resilience, and community building. It's uh, surrounded with the Center for Loving Kindness and Civic Engagement of the JCC. That's the Jewish Community Center of Greater Pittsburgh. Reporting live in Squirrel Hill, Lindsay Ward for KDKA News.